you just die and let someone else take your place? Pilsis Tyrell. Angus could have killed you. That was a general idea. It's more and more humiliating every time I survive. Why did you have to crash in on me like that? Are you phoned? Hello. Hello again. You've had a really nice girl in the shop a couple of times lately. The last time she had chewing gum in her hair. Sounds delicious. Her hair was really soft. Why don't you grab her? You can't just grab them. Just gaze right into their eyes and they come walking straight over to you. Hey, well, is that all you do? I could have bought a dog if I wanted my ear licked. <laughs> Wilma, this is Alice. Uh, Alice, this is my wee brother. Oh, but uh, of course you've already met. The one in the collar is a bit of an upcase, but the older one is worth getting to know. Hi. This can be Wilbur. Life is too short for patients like Wilbur. We can't do anything for him. You are a fucking moron. Wilbur, and when you, you're dead, what was it like? It's as dull as dishwater. There's nothing. It's like being in Wales. I see. Maybe I should get a girlfriend. You've got a hair sticking out your nostril. Wilbur is a rhino between the sheets. How lovely for you both. Wilbur has never been happier. I want to stay with him and my wife and my daughter, OK? Turned out to be a lovely evening after all, didn't it? <laughs>